Hello everyone, this is Akash Chauhan and in today's lecture, we will be discussing about virtual destructor in C++. And as we usually uh, do, we uh, need to figure out uh, what is the use of virtual destructor in C++. Okay, if we understand the need, then it, is, it would be super easy for us to implement and remember uh, for a longer period of time what is a virtual destructor and what is the need of virtual destructors in C++. Okay, so the general definition of virtual destructor is when you try to delete the drive class object, okay, drive class object means the child class object using a pointer of base class. Okay, using a pointer of base class means when you create a pointer of base class, which would be pointing to the drive class object and you try to delete this base class pointer. So there is an unusual behavior or it will result in undefined behavior. Okay, so you will, you will find a very undefined behavior in the code. Okay, which is not a good thing. Okay, and virtual destructor seems to be uh, the solution of this problem. But let's explore uh, the need of a virtual destructor and what is that problem all about. Okay, so let me take an example first of all. So uh, let's say we have a base class super class. Okay, I chose the name uh, uh, as a super class and the child class as a child class. Okay, and there is a destructor. So how to create destructor by using this tilde operator, right? And this is the, as we, uh, the class name is super, we have to use the name as it is with, with no parameter and you can write anything you want in the destructor. This is the super class or the base class destructor. And this one is the child class destructor, which is inheriting this super class, okay? So this is, this is how we create the destructor. As we have discussed uh, this, uh, the execution flow and the calling flow of destructor in my, uh, you know, destructor related lecture, let me uh, summarize what is uh, the execution flow and the calling flow of a destructor, okay? Whenever there is a uh, interchange between superclass and the child class. Okay, so let me show you. So the calling flow will, will always be child to parent and execution flow would, all, would always be child to parent. Why is that? Because if you are inheriting, okay, let's say here you are inheriting super class and by this logic, this destructor will be executed and then this destructor will be executed. Why it is so important that first the child destructor will be executed and then the super district super class destructor will be executed because the child class is inheriting the super class. Okay, so all the settlement you should close or settle all your child class data or files first, then the base class. Okay, it is because if you let's say you are deleting the super class first of all then it would definitely impact your all the descendant classes or the inherited classes or your child classes. So it is always better to close all the respective files and data which is necessary in the descendant classes and then in the super class. Okay, the constructor concept is different. First, the very base or the supermost class constructor will be called and then its child constructors will be called in destructor. It is quite opposite because, because the destructor concept is based on first, you should close and settle down all your uh, child class data and files first and then the base class. Okay, so this is uh, the summary of uh, what is destructor, how to use it, what is the execution flow, what is the calling flow. Okay, so um, uh, if anything else, okay. So what I'll do, I will implement uh, this example, okay. And we will figure it out what uh, kind of unusual behavior or undefined behavior would be there when you try to uh, uh, use the pointer of um, your base class and this pointer will be pointing to the object of your child class okay and uh, when you are going to delete this pointer 
you would be encountering some some kind of undefined behavior that is what this definition is indicating deleting a drive class object this one using a pointer of you know base class type result undefined behavior so without any further ado let me implement an um, you know example in order to figure out what kind of undefined behavior would be there okay so we are covering virtual destructor here i have taken the base class as test1 class in which we have a test1 constructor this one is the destructor okay destructor how to create a destructor by using a tilde operator use the same name as a class name and pass no parameter that is the rule okay you are not supposed to return anything and you are not supposed to take any parameter in destructor okay this is the base class it doesn't matter what we have written i am just you know i'm trying only a one line statement that it is a test one constructor okay or the base class constructor and in the destructor the same i'm saying test one or the base class destructor okay as it is a destructor uh, in the child in the child class which would be inheriting test one class and uh, th this would be the constructor and this would be the destructor the messages Uh, are same as about constructor and destructor. Only here we have used drive, uh, and here we have used uh, base. Okay, so this is these are uh, constructors and and destructors in your child class and your base class. Okay, so what I am trying to do the situation or the definition indicates that if you try to create a pointer of base class. Okay, so let me create. Uh, base class pointer so here it is test1 p pointer okay and if this pointer will be pointing to the object of child class so let me create a child class object or pointer here we have created the uh, object okay test2 object and that address of this test2 will be stored in object 2 okay this is fine so as this would be storing the address of this object and we will store this address in the test1 pointer so here we have created a situation where p reference the reference of super uh, class or base class would be pointing to child class okay here what is, what it is happening and if we delete this pointer then there would be some unusual behavior so let me uh, execute it and we should uh, be aware about what is the expected behavior if i delete the pointer then uh, the execution flow of the uh, destructor would be first the child destructor will be executed as this uh, point is indicating and then your parent or the super class or the base class uh, destructor would be executed so let me execute it okay okay so first test1 base constructor is called it is usual the super constructor will always be called first and then the drive class okay this is okay but here we are only able to see the base class destructor is called okay this destructor is not called okay this is a undefined behavior here we have encountered a behavior that test2 object even though the p is pointing to test two object is still the destructor of this child class is not called okay this is undefined behavior so in that case if you want to resolve this issue there is a concept called virtual uh, destructor so if you simply add virtual destructor over here virtual keyword over here then what will happen if you perform the same uh, what to say the same example if i try to execute the same example I, after adding this virtual keyword over here then this undefined behavior would be gone so let me execute that so what what will be gone let me focus on that the execution flow will, will be the child and then the parent first whatever you have written in the child would be executed and then whatever you have written in the super class uh, let's say here it is efg would be printed and abc would be printed so uh, over the console first abc would be there and then efg would be there so here in this example uh 
first of all the district in terms of district test to drive destructor is called and then this uh, destructor will be called after the execution of child class destructor okay so let me show you okay test two or the drive uh, destructor will be is called and test one base destructor is called so the problem is resolved so by adding this virtual keyword over here or we can say this is a virtual destructor if you want uh, to have a proper uh, sequence of a destructor execution in case you are creating a pointer of you know base class and pointing to the a child class then in that case you should use virtual destructor in your base class so virtual destructor is a solution okay uh, let me show you okay so the solution of this problem is by making base class destructor virtual guarantees that the object of drive class is destructed properly that is very important earlier the problem was the the destructor okay of the child class was not executed okay at all so by using virtual uh, destructor in base class it, it guarantees you that the destructor of your child class will be dist uh, destructed properly that is the solution and the problem i have discussed earlier of the problem i have discussed earlier so guys this is ab all about the virtual destructor i hope this concept is clear this is all about today's lecture thank you so much guys or uh, if you have any doubt or any query please comment down below i'll try to answer all of your queries okay thank you so much for today's lecture